Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Thursday, April 8th. Happy birthday, Lisa, my sister. Um, yeah, so uh, April 8th, 2021. Um, people, let's start off with the economic news. We just found out that another 744,000 people just applied for first-time unemployment benefits. This is every week now, people. Every single week, between seven and 800,000 people are applying for first-time unemployment benefits. And the narrative is, we're in an economic boom. You've got to be kidding me. We're in a stock market boom. I mean, we're at all-time highs with regard to the S&P 500, for which we're probably going to hit another record today. Um, I've explained to you, the bad economic news is going to keep coming. And it's going to get worse. Um, as a matter of fact, this this number today uh, was worse than expected. It's it's always worse than expected. Whoever they poll for these <laughs> for these uh, for these fake numbers anyway, these economists, uh, they're obviously brain dead uh, on an epic scale. But uh, we know the truth here, and this is the number they're allowing us to know. I, I just think about that. They're allowing us to know that 744,000 people just applied for first-time unemployment benefits. It's, it's probably twice that. I mean, I don't know, but this is not the real number. They have to give us something, so they give us this. Uh, in this environment of fakery, lies, and propaganda, it's insane. It really, really is. Um, anyway, let's move forward here. So stock futures right now are higher for the Dow, higher for the S&P 500, and about flat for the NASDAQ, I told you, there is a total disconnection between the market and our free fall economy, with, and there's no end in sight. But we did find out yesterday uh, from the Federal Reserve, not once, but twice, that the, it, look, I'm, I can't even speak, an endless supply, an endless supply of easy money is going to be pumped into this market, and it's going to go up. Let's look at the 10-year yield. Stable. Yet again, dollar lower on the news that the Fed is going to keep their foot to the floor and pump this market. I told you. Uh, ever since Goldman Sachs waved the white flag with regard to their short dollar position, the dollar has gone down. You can't make this stuff up, but it's true. Um, in, in my view, the dollar value right now is in la la land. And it's just a matter of time before the dollar takes a big move lower. And I think it's going to be staggering. I really do. Oh, by the way, there was an oil refinery explosion in Venezuela and several people were hurt. That should put a floor on under crude oil, at least for now. But it's not the big one. I'm still waiting for the big event to happen. And it's going to. Uh, some event in the Middle East is going to prop up crude in a big way. Just wait for it. It's coming. I think it's already planned. It's just a matter of them pulling the trigger on it in the literal sense here. Uh, also expect supply route disruptions. That's going to happen too. Look, they got a whole bag of tricks that they can utilize and use, and they do all the time, to keep the market propped up, to keep crude oil propped up. Crude oil people, you know you know my story on this, is the lifeblood of the military-industrial complex. The investment banks have leveraged bets in the multiple trillions. They're allowing us to know it's 2.8 trillions. That's the number they're telling us. But you have to understand, when they're telling us a number at face value with regard to investment banks and their investments in crude oil, this is face value at 2.8 trillion. But they're not just investing uh, dollars at face value. They're investing leveraged dollars. These are probably leveraged tenfold. Uh, so you can imagine what that number actually is. It's staggering. And the investment banks, they never lose. Uh, you'll lose before they lose. And um, the Federal Reserve, who is run by these banks here, they got the U.S. military in their back pocket to carry out whatever they want to carry out at any moment. At any moment, okay? So that's just the way that whole thing works. You understand the petrodollar. This is why the petrodollar exists. Um, uh, crude oil is priced in dollars, and it's a scheme on an epic freak show scale. And I think you understand that. 
Cryptocurrencies people are getting bid higher right now. I told you what happened yesterday with the SEC coming out, explaining that uh, the United States is behind the curve with regard to regulations on crypto. We've seen it before. You get that sell-off and then you get a rebound higher. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. Gold and silver are catching a bid as the dollar is weaker, but again, Gold and silver has no, their price action has no bearing on reality. We got the largest bank on the planet, JP Morgan, deliberately rigging the price of metals to the downside. It's like trying to fight Godzilla, and it ain't happening. So, uh, anyway, let them play their game. We are going to continue to play our game. With regard to this market, my lions, I got you all covered. Uh, I've been putting out... Uh, Stock pick after stock pick after stock pick. Not all of them have been successful and they're never going to be. But most of them have been. And if you've been playing these correctly, you're literally lining your pockets with dollars. And then you're taking those dollars and converting them into other assets. That's what I do. That's what I do. Uh, so if you are a subscriber to my newsletter, you will continue to get Greg Manorino's stock picks and how to play them. Uh, in your email box. If you have not yet signed up for my uh, free newsletter, there is a link in the description of this video. And people, I'm going to say it again. Take advantage of all the free stuff. It's all free on my website, traderschoice.net. Uh, everything, and the chat room is amazing. Take advantage of that chat room too. All right. So in summary, real quick, another 744,000 people have just applied for first-time unemployment benefits. This is a weekly occurrence. It's epic. It's absolutely epic. We're in economic free fall beyond your wildest imaginations, but the narrative is we're doing great. We're doing fantastic. We got the Fed pumping this market with easy money like you have no idea. We got the U.S. Treasury funneling trillions and trillions of dollars around the world, not just the $650 billion that they just gave to the IMF, courtesy of the American people. Thank you very much. Um, and, and you got the Federal Reserve. The, the, you see, the, the Treasury and the Federal Reserve are now tag-teaming the United States of America to bring it to its knees before the world, before the new world order. I think you understand that. It's a terrible thing to watch, but that's exactly what's going on here. But, you know, stay distracted. Focus on the scandemic, you know. Uh, that's what they want. It's always the same game, people. Look here. Don't look here. Whenever the media is trying to force you repeatedly to look in one direction, you know there is something very big going on on the other side. So whenever you see this kind of action, realize a bell should go off in your head. Okay, something else is going on. Let's find out what it is. But it, and we know what it is. It's the, the central banks. This is a war. They are taking over the world. They're buying it all. They, they are literally now the lenders and buyers of last resort. This is the Federal Reserve. This is their game plan. Since the get-go, nothing is real and nothing is what it seems. All right, people, with that said, uh, that's it. I'll see all of you later. Please share the video. Very important stuff here. Love you a lot.